Have you ever struggled with emotion sickness or epilepsy seizure? On iOS, you can actually adjust certain features so it would not affect you. So let's get to it. In order to go to your emotion, you go to settings accessibility and then motion the first thing is reduce motion what it does is when you send anything effects it will slow down not necessarily slow motion but at least it won't affect you to get a emotion sickness second one is prefer crossfade transition have you ever had the presentation when they slide things you kind of feel a little bit emotion sickness it is a similar to this one but it will appear and disappearing in the slides in a slower way so you don't feel emotion sickness next two features autoplay message effect autoplay animated images those are the apps and iMessages you are using and to send certain emojis or effects they can be slowed down so you won't be too destructive into your vision next one is a dim flashlight and limited frame rate these two are strictly related to epilepsy seizure what it does is when things are flashed too repeatedly quickly it causes a seizure so that if you struggle with that you can actually activate a dim flashlight and limited frame rate then it won't let you get triggered all the time the last thing autoplay video previews previews of the videos of could be movie or you're watching a uh, youtube and then it can slow it down so it won't affect your emotion sickness today we talk about how to activate certain features in regards to your emotion sickness if you have any questions please let us know in the comment if it was helpful please share it with your friends thank you Thank you.